Coming at you full fledged. It's your boy Rage Man Reg with another video for y'all, man. Welcome, YouTube. Big news coming uh, in the world of sports uh, and just American media. If you just yeah, just keeping it a buck. Uh, big news three years, uh, three hours ago, uh, it was reported that. Uh, O.J. Simpson, uh, former Heisman Trophy award winner uh, at a time known for his uh, great skills in the sport of football, uh, later to become one of the more infamous personalities in American history. Uh, it was reported by TMZ three hours ago <clears throat> and per tweet from his official account reading on April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and girl children. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. Now, I must say, I'm just gonna speak, I'm, I'm speaking from everything i usually i'm gonna be complete transparent i usually make scripts for my videos but with this i don't think i can really do that because all all i'm going to do is just feed off secondhand knowledge that other people already have better knowledge on because they experienced it in real time so uh i'm gonna just speak on everything again he was a former uh, back in, back before night, before the before nineteen ninety three or nineteen ninety four, he was one of the more famous athletes, black quote unquote black athletes quote unquote black men in the world. Uh, again, he was an NFL great, uh, Heisman Trophy award winner. You know that's one of the most the one of the most if not the most prestigious award a college football player can win. Uh, Again, at the time, movie star, uh, commercials, all that. Now, again, we know, we know what happened. I ain't gonna get into it. So, you know what's crazy about this? You know what's crazy? Is it? You know what's crazy about all this? I have conversations about things like this on the daily and the fact that this just happened today it, it's just wild so uh growing up you know growing up we i mean just, just i before i say that i'm gonna say this uh at our ages however old you are however old you are this goes for well, anybody any age range when you at a certain age you think you know a lot uh, you think you know a lot or, or you tend to, or you tend to, you know, keep, keep, keep up with the Joneses or as Kwame Brown says, go alone to get alone. So there's certain, uh, factoids or not even facts. There's certain, uh, just standards or uh, standards or well, I can't say fact, but standards or certain things that you just accept. And with this whole OJ Simpson thing, people have accepted over the years that this just was what it was. And I've never been that type of person to follow the crowd. I ain't never been the type of person to follow the crowd. And uh I can remember as late as uh as late as the uh the late twenty tens, the media was uh making documentaries on Netflix about this. I remember speaking to fraternity brothers or peers in college about I, I I don't watch TV, so I didn't really I couldn't really say I can only you you know 
I I don't watch TV, so I can't really give a, like a, a really. Y'all know what I'm saying, but yeah, every other every era gets inundated with certain propaganda. That's the per that's the perfect sentence. Every era is inundated with certain propaganda, and I'm not gonna fully accept what the media is has said about what's going on because uh i'm not gonna get into too much of the details but if you do rudiment if you do your own you do your own let me say this again if you do your own research you can find several <laughs> several um pieces of that case that give you a cause to pause uh, you can you can analyze the people that were involved with it, and you could see their conflict of interest. Uh, all those things. So I'm not gonna get into that, but I'm not gonna get into that from the play by play and what all that happened. I will say this though, considering considering that. This person, O.J. Simpson, was one of the bigger uh, personalities, athletes, uh, movie stars for his vocations. Vocations at the time, for that to happen to him, it's not, I don't find that, I don't find that otherworldly. Like, we have to realize what, I'm I'm speaking a little three dimensionally here. I'm I'm gonna speak it cold. I don't just want to say no crazy stuff, but the fact that he was he's been put back out. I mean, the fact that he got off. Just the fact that he got off with that uh with uh Johnny Cochran, one of the bigger lawyers at the time. Every all of all of all of that is so fascinating to me, and I have to do further research on it because again, I don't want to talk about shit I don't know. But the fact that he got off with that, uh, I don't know too much about uh, the lawyer, and it's just so much stuff, bro. I had a conversation about this a while ago, and this is just crazy because all this stuff is just popping back in my head at once. So, of course, this guy, O.J. Simpson, he was a he was a talented dude. He could be, and obviously the powers they be saw that he could be used for whatever they wanted to use him for through ads, movies, football promotion, etc. Then, whatever happens in the midst of that, this crazy ass thing happens. Crazy ass thing happens completely contrary to what the media has been portraying him as before. Then, you know, then at the time, you know, the uh, race relations, we can speak on stuff getting better or worse, but race relations, I'm considering race relations, race relations, just uh, based off on how the country was established. We have to consider race relations as race relations, not them being what they were at the time or what they are now. Uh, that then this lawyer, I'm not getting into conspiracy theories when I say certain factions of people want certain things to happen in the world in any, in any business industry or whatever, but more specifically with legalities and getting certain getting certain laws in laws in place people locked up precedents made basically not precedents to get certain precedents made stuff has to happen through the legal system the fact that this lawyer Johnny Cochran and I don't know too much about other cases he's been into I'm pretty sure that if not other things that's his biggest case he got him off 
Then the fact that fast forward, he uh, OJ Simpson ends up getting incarcerated for some other stuff. But it, but in reality, it was for them not being able to get him on that. Then again, decades of propaganda on what happened, even if he was acquitted. But you know, when other people, but you know, when you can only trust the legal system when it's uh, representing certain people is what I'm saying. Even uh, the, you go, you go into that. It, this is all wild. Now you have this today with the media. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. As this TMZ article I just read uh, said, you have a lot of uh, mixed reactions. One of uh, Caitlyn Jenner. I'm not going to say Caitlyn Jenner. Bruce Jenner. This dude, Bruce Jenner. This dude, Bruce Jenner, said uh, on his Twitter Good riddance. He posted good riddance on his Twitter. This man, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, posted good riddance. Uh, just completely uh, disrespectful to his family. Uh, this man has a family. This man has a family uh, still. Uh, you know, Tom Lanes, one of the lead detectives who worked on the case, told TMZ he has nothing to say. He simply doesn't care. That's okay. I don't have no issues with that. That's 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 way more. I believe that's way more respectful than what uh, Mr. Jenner said. But yeah, you're gonna have from today forward. You're gonna have the media have a bunch of mixed things to say because now that he dead, a, a dead man can't tell his tales. A dead man can't tell tales. So now they got full control to do whatever they want with him. I was just having a conversation about how they how uh the media likes to uh bastardize bastardize Muhammad Ali's is uh social con uh commentary and social advocacy for the uh the uh virtue signaling that they do today. That's the same thing similar not not exactly what they're doing with social commentary, but that's what they're going to do with OJ Simpson is I believe too. They're going to bastardize uh, I mean, not bastardized. They're going to, for lack of a better term, no pun intended, they're going to juice. They're going to juice whatever beneficial uh, information they can out of this whole narrative. Uh, either the good things that they can talk about, about in his football career or simply just keep pushing the propaganda about them that they've been the last 30, 35 years. Lastly, I'ma say, bro, shouts out to uh shouts out to uh uh Cameron and Mace, bro. Shouts out to Cameron and Mace that is is what it is, talk podcast, bro. Because they one of the few, bro, if not the only sports sports show that really they the only one I'm I, to my knowledge. Cam and Mace had OJ Simpson on there episodically, but and they was just talking the shit up of, like he was a regular nigga, bro. And he was just he was just talking and just he was having fun, bro. That's just good to see, bro. And they that's good to see niggas back then, bro. These niggas Cam and Mace gotta be like, bro, like in they mid to early forties or something. They ain't even, they ain't even sipping the Kool-Aid, bruh. They just looking at him for what he is. I mean, I'm pretty sure they accept what his situation was, but they not, they, they don't have a dog in the fight, bruh. And they just treated him like a person. And that was pretty tough, bruh. And for me, for a person to not know what's going on, and to, I, I'm looking at things completely objective, bruh. That's tough, bruh. Like, I don't, I, I don't again... I don't know what happened. I have my opinions, but at the same time, who we who we gonna believe? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it ain't up to me. It ain't up to it ain't up to me to. It's what how I feel about it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, because 
He met, he's meeting his maker. Judgment is coming as we speak. So that's what matters. All the other shit doesn't. So again, shouts out to Cam and Mace, bro. I can't wait to see how the media is going to cover all this, bro. Like, this is wild. OJ Simpson, dead at 76. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button, comment at the beginning, middle, and end of the video. Share for us to see. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. And I'm out.